day, everyone. This is Business Profiles with Business Owner Retirement Planning Canada. My name is Dave Wietela, and uh, just quickly highlight the purpose of these presentations to uh, profile unique and interesting businesses and professionals or a topic of their expertise across the country, just really to spread some education. And uh, just as, as a little bit of a, an asterisk here, neither myself or my company, Business Owner Retirement Planning Canada, is receiving any form of compensation for this presentation. We're doing it as an educational service. Now, today we have a fantastic presentation regarding relationships entitled Game Changers. So Sandra Alexei Morin and Michael Hellyer are authors. They've written a book entitled how to love with your head instead of your heart. So it's game changer and really excited today. Mick well, and Sandra, welcome. I'm going to throw it over to Mick in a second. Thank you very much for attending today. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to just enter them into the questions bar or we can answer them at that time or at the conclusion of the presentation. So again, Mick, welcome, and I'll let you take it away. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dave for providing a platform to allow for greater exposure for our new relationship book, Game Changer, which is the best under $50 investment you'll ever make in your life. This book was co-authored with Sandra Morin and myself. It does contain the male, female component, perspective, experiences, and points of view. We each had our own reasons and motivations as to why we thought it was so worthwhile, and why we invested so much time, research, and energy to create this book. Together, we have over 80 years of real life relationships. This book contains the resulting wisdom that comes with age and experience designed to aid the reader with much practical common sense that can be put to use in their lives. People don't need to make the same mistakes we did. Some lessons just don't need to be learned the hard way. Just like the Clint Eastwood movie, we have experienced the good, the bad, the ugly. For me, this book was written to help anyone thinking about or already involved in a long-term monogamous committed relationship. I think back to my pre-marriage days, I needed this book. The key points for me, and they are covered in depth in the book. Number one, first relationship is with self. Number two, the biggest investment in my life was my choice of partner. Number three, putting odds in my favor, choosing the right partner. Did she have the core group of qualities required to withstand the test of time in a lifetime relationship? Did I? Number four, that starts with finding a good person. I believe you can work the bugs out over time if you start out with a good person. Of course, that would assume you are too. Here's an interesting exercise for the listeners typical to what you will find throughout Game Changer. Choose seven qualities you believe would make up your idea of a good person. It was hard for me, but here are mine. Fortitude, authentic, integrity, loyalty, compassion, wise, wellness in mind, body, and spirit, optimistic. And number five, the importance of the biological family staying together. My story starts at 16. I was in grade 10, started the school year. My parents split up very unexpectedly and suddenly. A new woman with a family came to live with me and my brother. Strange people were inserted in my life and I was thrust into a blended family. I couldn't stay in that intolerable situation, so I left, moved to a new city, away from my friends, followed my mother, and went to try and live with her. Upon my arrival, a new man was there as well. Life got real in a hurry. That changed a lot of things in my life, and I floundered for the next several years at least. I lost my direction, guidance, and support system. My safe and loving home was gone. It affected me to the point I promised myself when I had a family, there would be no other person except their mother and myself that would be involved in raising me. Many years later, through thick and thin, I kept that promise. So I come from a broken family. Fast forward eight years to my marriage. This is where I needed the book, Game Changer. I fell in love with a gal with a great pair of legs and a pretty face. The timing seemed right and we got along fine. 
the icing on the cake was everything I wanted in a woman. But what were the ingredients that went into making the cake? Were they a good person? But I never really knew who I was or what I needed in my partner to help a successful lifelong relationship succeed. Deep down, what kind of person she was, who was I? Did we fit and enhance each other's lives? This was too big of an investment, too much riding on the outcome, not to have known before I got married. I really needed those answers. Absence the required due diligence, I embark on a life journey with a gal I really never knew. I was just rolling the dice, hoping luck was on my side. Here's my point about due diligence. Roughly four and a half years ago, I retired from my business, and for the first time, I was needing to have my money work for me instead of the other way around. I literally spent months doing my due diligence slash research as to who I would trust with my future financial needs and with whom I could form the strongest financial relationship. Someone who had and still does have my best interest at heart. Dave was that man. And to this date, that relationship remains strong. I had chosen the right financial partner through due diligence. I had asked all the hard questions. It was too important to leave to chance. Now to tell the truth, I never spent 10 minutes doing due diligence in my choice of life partners. How could that be? How many of us have done or will do the same mistake? We spend more time investigating the purchase of a vehicle or a trip than we do in our choice of partners. Game Changer challenges you to do your due diligence. Fast forward 30 years. Now we are the biological parents of three children. I run a successful business and accordingly was the major breadwinner. Assets built up, money in the bank, no debt, a bright looking future. Building a small kingdom the kids would inherit. I was nearing retirement. My son is set to take over the business. Much struggle and energy were required to get to this point in my life, but I did it for myself, my partner, and my family. One day after work, <clears throat> I was blindsided by my wife that we needed time apart. I knew intuitively that there was another man involved. Everything changed after that. My life was broken, my family was broken. The glue that held it together chose to no longer be part of it. My wife's decision to leave the relationship was like a pebble thrown into a pond. The ripples that flowed outward from the center negatively affected so many parts of many people's lives. You ask yourself why? It all goes back to the beginning. I never really knew the person I married inside deep down. Suddenly, everything I had invested in for 30 years of my life was being torn apart. This slide shows the most obvious ways a person becomes invested in the success of the relationship. How do you describe the energy, mind, body, and spirit it takes to nurture and grow a partnership? There's no way to measure that. The vows you took for better or worse, the struggles, victories, the birth of a family, creating a home, a life with someone you love, starting and growing a business and all that that entails. These and more we shared together over 30 years. The history and memories you experienced, that's irreplaceable. The investment biological parents will willingly and lovingly with much personal sacrifice for the benefit of their children, who are the future of our planet. <clears throat> the financial investment, does anyone really realize the time it took to build up the asset base for the benefit of the family in the future? This doesn't happen overnight. In my case, it took many years of hard work to build up the nest egg. Trust me, it doesn't take long to give half it away, and you never get that time back. It's gone. And it's debatable that you will ever make up the financial loss. Most likely, you will have to extend your working life. The big D, divide by two. By the time you reach this point, you'll wish you had made a better effort to keep the home fires alive. Nothing easy about this. Lawyers, judges, accountants, loss, soul bearing, strange living arrangements. It goes downhill from here. In the previous slide, you'll remember the investment points. On top of everything else, now you have to deal with this reality. I was not prepared for divorce. I was the guy in the picture. 
John, I'm barely able to keep my head above water. Now I am really off balance and no real help from anywhere. I need to run the business, which requires all the time I can give it. The kids are rattled. My son moves out of the house he grew up in. I had to find a new home in a hurry. Bad choices, life decisions, and costly mistakes were made. Game Changer documents the mistakes that were made during the process and takes you step by step as to what should have been done had I had more clarity and with the benefit of hindsight. As with the rest of the book, your investment in Game Changer will really pay off here. When I say this is the best small investment you will ever make, I'm not kidding. And the one important thing that gets forgotten in all the drama around the big D, and arguably the most important, is the children. They have no say. They just get told. Well, maybe. Game Changer gives voices to our children, and this is what they would say. I am not guessing here. I am one of them. I want my mom and dad together. I want their guidance, wisdom, nurturing, caring, and love for me. I need their guiding light and example at whatever age I may be. I need my mom and dad to tuck me in and say goodnight and be there in the morning when I wake up, knowing how great I slept the night before, secure in the world my parents have provided for me. I know I take for granted that you will always be there and together. However, that's what I want and what I need. I want my parents sitting side by side in the stands watching my performance at the school play, the soccer field, or wherever. I want to bring my friends or my date home to meet my parents, no matter how old I am. I want my home to be that safe place where I will always be welcome. I want Christmas together to be able to celebrate anniversaries and birthdays together. I want to share my successes and challenges with you both. I want the family unit where my brothers and sisters and our future families can gather to celebrate those special occasions secure with each other in our place in this world. That may seem selfish, but it is all I know. And if you go away, I will flounder, be lost and confused. Not sure where to turn. Most of what I want and expect will be lost and never happen. I may even rebel, losing myself for a time in the process. Make life decisions that aren't right for me. Who are these new people in my life? How do I adjust to that? No one asked me, it just happened. I need you to work it out. I want you to be together. You must for me. If there is a way to rekindle that love and find the lost connection I know you had, I need you to work on it. It is so important for me that you do. You affect me far more than you know. When you look at me, remember when you brought me into this world, and that will make you smile. I hope you hear my words, and it makes a difference to you both. I want my mom and dad together always. It does not matter how old I am. <clears throat> Another lesser thought about, but perhaps equally difficult side effect of the biological family breakup is it oftentimes results in the next relationship coming in the form of a blended family, where people try to blend their children with each other in the same home. That's not always a bed of roses, and most likely you will feel the thorns. A case in point, I know we're not as primal as the lions we see here, but we're not that far removed in evolutionary terms either. <clears throat> in this slide, you see a biological lion pride. The role of the father male is to protect his family from any outside threat. The cubs are safe as long as he is there. If a takeover by a stronger male happens and that father is either killed or driven away under penalty of death, the first thing the new male does is seek out and kill all the cubs he can find. He does not waste any energy raising the ousted lion's cub. This brings the females back into estrus and soon he will be father and protector to his cubs. Conversely, if a lost young lion from another pride wanders into this pride, he will either be killed or driven away. The females will not accept it. The point here is it is often very difficult for us to accept the new partner's children or them accepting us. It's something primal inside. Whenever possible, biological parents are the way to go. The family, 
Almost everything of lasting value in civilization has its roots in the family. The family is man's greatest purely human achievement. Society itself is the aggregated structure of family units. Individuals are very temporary as planetary factors. Only families are continual agencies in social revolution. The family is the channel through which the river of culture and knowledge flows from one generation to the other. Family life and home is man's supreme evolutionary acquirement and civilization's only hope of survival. Enjoy life, seek your pleasures, we have earned it, but never do anything that hurts the family, home, or property. This is a quote from the Urantia book. And to me, that's real wisdom and probably the wisest saying I have ever read. To that extent, I will chat a bit about the book, Game Changer, and its role in family preservation. <clears throat> Game Changer, the book, will be the best small investment you could ever make. I can't emphasize that enough. And it is full of practical advice as well as awareness exercises throughout a broad range of subjects that you need to complete along with your partner. You create ownership in the outcome. It asks the hard questions and makes you think in many ways in areas people are uncomfortable with. Plus it will provoke your own thoughts to other areas in your life you may want to involve in the exercise, but you can blame the book. It's asking the questions and you are willing participants. Answers must be given, transparency is the result. It takes you on a life journey from self-discovery slash self-awareness to boundaries and personal power through personal discovery. Find out if they are a good fit for you now that you have a better idea of what you require. And if they are not, here's some other great advice. Put on your running shoes and run before children are involved. It talks about the benefit of a lifetime relationship, your best friend and lover. It gives exercises that help build relationship by design, not by luck. You will be challenged by the decision to have children, and this is a big one. Do you understand the importance of keeping your family together once you commit to children? Are you prepared in many ways? Once you make that decision, it's really not about you anymore. <clears throat> the tipping point is the tree of partnership. This is a very interesting exercise, very informative. Then there's the business side of the relationship. This will be an eye opener for most of you. This is a big investment here and better to look at it now rather than after the fact. There's a, there's a, a detailed budget and we talk about the obligations and responsibilities of individuals in the partnership. There's even a contract to sign and this is the perfect time to do it. You're in love. Then there is um, the journey through relationship challenges, and they all have them. This is a heads up with practical solutions for proper maintenance of the partnership, complete with a toolbox full of tools to repair any damage that may have been done. Remember, the idea is to keep the biological unit together, and it'll take some work. Then there is the devastating effects of divorce. The voices of the children are here, and the information contained will make you think twice about divorce. We have a section we coin wisdoms. This is long forgotten wisdom from the ancient elders to the present day on many subjects. We scoured the internet and came up with ones that were most uh, valuable. Find the ones that apply to your life. There is much you gain from this wisdom. Lastly, we the authors have the chance to put our personal final thoughts down without the other's point of view and input. You might find this section thought provoking. I know I feel very strongly about the thoughts, ideas, and change I put down. I will finish by saying there is someone in your life that will really benefit from Game Changer in many, many more ways than you can even imagine right now. Now, Waiting in the Wings is co-author Sandra Morin, who doubles as our marketing guru with her thoughts to finish our presentation. Sandra? Hi, everyone, and thank you, Michael and Dave, and everyone that took their valuable time today to tune in and listen. 
Hopefully everyone sees the value in Game Changer, either for self, a family member, or a friend. It makes a great gift. Now let us look at the statistics. This is from the US 2018. 66% of divorces are filed by women. 43% of children in the US are living without their father involved in their lives. This is a huge challenge of parent alienation. As of today, 22 million people in the USA are suffering from parent alienation. 41% of first marriages, 60% of second marriages, and 73% of third marriages end in divorce. There's an excellent um, video on YouTube, and it's This is the Life with Lisa Lynch from November 17th, 2018 and it's called The Dad Dilemma. It's really worth um, looking at. So now we'll tell you a little bit about Game Changer. Michael has told you what a great investment it is. Uh, it comes out in hard, it's out in hard copy, soft cover, ebook, and audio. Dave actually provided the Game Changer book trailer with the announcement of this presentation. We have done book signings at certain locations of Indigo chapters in Alberta and BC. So if they do not have a copy in stock, you can order it. However, you can also order from Reasons in Victoria, BC. And if you order three or more copies, it is less expensive for shipping. Contact me for special pricing for corporate sales. Great gift ideas. The audio is on our links below, and we have an excellent endorsers for the book. I'll talk about the links below a little bit later. So now let's look at this. The big thing is self-discovery. So you need to know yourself. Becoming more aware of self through the interactive exercises assists you in knowing if the other person is a good fit. Game Changer, as Michael said, is a small investment for one of the biggest investments you will ever make in your life. You will get more clarity and be mindful using reason and intellect as opposed just to the physical attraction factor and emotions. As Michael said, due diligence. Now, the new model of relationships that we talk about has been based off some of the challenges with the old model. The older model has a lot of individuals struggling, struggling because they don't know themselves, a lot of codependency, and there's a lot of marriage breakdown, and the grass seems to be greener, okay? Now we move to the moon model of relationships, okay? That's going from becoming dependent to independent, and at that point, then you are physically, mentally, and spiritually able to move into an interdependent relationship, okay? So let's talk about dependent, okay? As a child, you're at home, and it's not enough just to say, I want to be a mom. You need to be able to learn to stand on your own two feet. So the case is a lot of people want to, to become a mom or they go to college because they've been told that they're gonna find the right male partner to take care of them. Economically, that is not realistic or feasible in today's society, okay? So nobody wants to be a baby dad or a slave. They want to have an, an independent partner that can help them grow a life together, okay? So if, if it happens that you do get into the relationship and you don't, it's usually the female, does not have the independence, if something should happen to her partner, how is she going to maintain taking care of that child? That's her responsibility. Now, once we hit, what does it mean to hit independence? Well, if you're independent, you finish school, you get your college, or your university, you learn to live on your own. By that, 
you have an apartment, you handle your finances, you learn to budget. If you have a vehicle, you gotta make sure you have money to pay the insurance or guess what? You end up just taking a bus until you get to that point. You are financially, physically, spiritually, and emotionally whole in oneself. Okay, the next thing is that's the interdependent relationship that Game Changer talks about is someone who has life skills and maturity, an individual that can take care of self in all aspects of life. That's called the business of life. Now, in appreciation for everyone listening, um, we are going to draw five names for prizes. There will be two audiobooks. We also have some great self-discovery tools. So we'll give away one personal destiny report, one in-depth relationship analysis, and one business associate compatibility report. These prizes can be used for yourself or you can use them as a gift for someone you care about. If interested, you can email me, the email's below, I'll go through that. And we will put your names in a hat and draw. The cutoff date is July 15th, and the contest will be completed by July 31st, 2019. Now, please check out Game Changer. All one word, Game Changer, Game On. And we would like to know if there are any suggestions for topics. We have videos up there right now. Um, if there's any ideas that you think you would like to, to give us, um, we have videos on all different topics on our YouTube channel. It is an ever-evolving process, and hopefully you will consider subscribing. You can open the hyperlinks below, and if you have any questions, please email me. Okay, we're also available for self-discovery sessions, public speaking engagements, and different workshops. And I want to thank everyone very much, um, Michael, Dave, all the audience, and have yourself a wonderful day.